A few months ago, I cut a whole lot of agates in half just to basically see what was inside them. I'll add a link up here somewhere um, to that video. Um, but what I found inside really piqued my interest as to how these were forming, why some had just horizontal parallel lines, others had lines that followed the perimeter of the agate, some had crystals, some didn't, some were hollow in the middle, some were solid. Um, so what I did is I went on the internet and tried to find as much information as I could about what was happening, and this is what I found out. It's important to note, I'm no geologist. Um, the information I found seemed to make sense to me and was backed up by what other people said. It may well be wrong, but yeah, like I said, to me it makes sense. So make of it what you will. Hey, g'day. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Right, where to start? The majority of these round type agates form in cavities left behind as water and carbon dioxide bubble out of fresh lava flows. They leave a hollow area behind in the solid lava. Kind of like holes in Swiss cheese, really. So what happens is water containing minerals seeps through the rock and these minerals begin to crystallize. Different trace elements leave different colored lines of fine crystals. And here's where it gets interesting. Well, for me at least. If the inside of the rock is below about 150 degrees Celsius, these fine lines of chalcedony will start to form like that. Above 150 degrees, you get these macro crystals starting to form. So these will form above 150 degrees, below 150 degrees, you get these lines. So how come some have lines that follow the perimeter of the rock and others are just flat. Well, that's interesting as well. That has to do with how much pressure there is inside the geode. At low pressures, the lines form basically as it was sitting on the earth. So these would have represented the horizon line of the way the rock initially sat. So that's at low pressure. At high pressure, the lines start to build up around the outside, basically defying gravity because of the pressure in this area. Now, I just mentioned geodes. I should explain the difference between a geode and an agate. A geode is any, I guess, rock, mainly agate, that has a hollow center like this one. So that's an agate with a crystal center. So that is a geode. Whereas this one, He's solid, it's all been filled in. That's a geode. All right, so with all that in mind, I'm gonna try and determine how this agate formed. I think it's fairly obvious by these lines here that that's the way, that would have been the horizon, the level of the ground. Um, so I would say it was less than 150 degrees Celsius and under little or no pressure for those lines to start building up. And then it reaches about here, and there's some sort of tectonic event that just shifts it slightly, like there. But at the same time, increases the pressure, but not the temperature. So the pressure's increased, the chalcedony starts to form around the adult perimeter here, and that goes on for a while. And then the temperature increases at this point here, and starts to form crystals. And those crystals continue forming until the whole geode is filled in and it becomes an agate. That's the way I read it anyway. Um, hopefully it's correct and I hope you agree with me. So there you go. Given enough time, we're talking millions of years, the lava erodes away, leaving just the agate, ready to be found, cut and polished by people like me and possibly you too. I hope you've enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And please consider subscribing if you haven't already, uh, liking, and also leave me a comment if you could, that'd be fantastic. I always like to hear comments from people. Thank you very much.